Have you noticed how you can now converse with AI, things like ChatGPT, just like you're talking to another human? How has AI gotten so good at human language just in the past couple of years? This all has to do with how AI researchers are now teaching their models human language. Modern AI natural language understanding relies more heavily on learning patterns from vast amounts of human language data on the internet rather than depending primarily on explicit grammar rules or linguistic theory. Before computer translation became particularly effective, there was often passed around on the internet much comedic effect of its failed translations. Let's take a look at one of those. Let's try an example from Aterium, a current grammar rules-based translator to show how complex sentences can trip up classic grammar schemes. The English is grammar rules are one thing, but speaking naturally takes practice. If you translate that into Spanish, you see what you have here, but then translating this back again into English, we get rules of grammars are a thing, but speaking, of course, practical taking. That's not exactly the translation we were expecting. And again, this was before AI got particularly good at it. This was when we were using grammatical table sort of rules to make these translations. But how did this all start? In 1966, Joseph Wiesbaum at MIT introduced ELISA, one of the earliest programs that appeared to understand language. It only appeared to understand it. It really did not actually understand it. It used simple pattern matching rules to give the illusion of understanding, such as asking about your family if you mentioned your mother, but it didn't actually comprehend the conversation. To understand how hard it can be to build rules that understand this sort of thing, consider the English word round. It can be a noun, verb, adjective, adverb, or preposition. Knowing which part of speech this is requires considerable context knowledge around the sentence, and even beyond just the sentence that the words occur in. This is one of the very difficult parts of using actual programming to try to understand all of grammar. When I was a computer science student, I used this textbook to begin with natural language understanding. It was filled with all sorts of tables and diagrams to help you try to understand how to map parts of speech and other elements of grammar. At another point, I used this textbook to try to learn the Spanish language very much as a human being. Nothing to do with computers. But it was interesting to me, the parallels, how you see a lot of the same conjugation tables and other things as they attempt to teach the Spanish language. Unfortunately, I was not a very good student of the Spanish language. So how do these models actually learn a language like English? The way that they do it is we just take raw text that has no answers, no nothing. It's just reading. It's like sitting down and watching television in a country where you don't understand the language. The text just comes at the machine and it eventually learns to do basic things like guess what the next word is going to be said. When you're listening to somebody speaking a language, aren't you often just almost predicting what that next word that is going to come out of their mouth is? That's the basis for how a lot of these languages found their foundations. And then beyond that, they're given more structured things to learn how to answer questions correctly when we ask ChatGPT for advice on various things. So certainly human understanding for computers has come into a whole new area as we are able to learn from these large volumes of hu human text that we have available to train these models on. In the future, we'll probably start to incorporate more human feedback as it, the machine talks to humans. It'll be able to see how they're responding to what it says and learn even more. It's hard to say where the future will completely take us.